Hello and welcome to this tutorial of how to connect your telescope to Stellarium and how to find objects in Stellarium. For controlling the mount and slewing the targets, I use Stellarium. This is the best free program I could find and it works fine. You can download it from their website and it will install multiple versions. If the normal version of Stellarium is very slow for you, you can try out different versions. I use Angle Mode. In this mode you cannot see the surface details or pictures of planets, but it works very smoothly for me. When you open up Stellarium, you will see multiple options below. Some quick hotkeys. A is to enable or disable atmosphere. D is to enable or disable deep sky markers and E is to get the equatorial grid. I also use this for polar aligning. To enable camera mode, you need to click on the wrench at the top right corner. Here you can add your camera specs and your scope specs too. To enable the camera view, close the settings screen and click on the box. Scroll through the options to get different setups. Now for connecting the mount. After first aligning it with the stars, you can click on this icon to open the scope screen. Click Configure Telescopes. Here you can add your own telescope. To do this, click Add. Now you can edit the name of your telescope. The rest of the settings are already good and are automatically selected for you. You will also see it auto-selected the COM port it is connected to. Sometimes you will have to go to the configure screen and click OK when you start up as it correctly detects the COM port when doing this. So you don't need to change anything while doing this. Sometimes you have to go to this configure screen and just click OK when you start up. Don't change anything. This is so that it automatically detects what COM port it should connect to. When you have your telescope configured, you can press on start. This will show you a marker of where your telescope is. To find your targets, the normal Stellarium view is not always enough. Luckily, you can enable a highly detailed sky chart by clicking on Sky and Viewing Options in the box to the left. Now you have to go to the last page called Surveys. I found that DSS Coloured was the best view of the sky and it loads the fastest. Now you must disable the atmosphere by pressing A and disable the stars by pressing S. Now you will be easily able to navigate around the night sky. When you have found your target with your camera view on, press Alt 1 to slew it to the center of the screen. Now you should see it slew, leave it for about one or two seconds and then it will be ready to track your desired target. I hope this video helped you understand this program better and will help you connect your telescope to this probe. It is a great program and with these sky charts enabled you can also find a variety of targets. I currently use the Nexstar SE mount and a telelens for my astrophotography, but I am saving up for an EQ6, a Newtonian reflector and an ASI 1600 camera. If you want to help me out along the way, be sure to check out my GoFundMe page called Bowen's Astrophotography Setup or click the link in my Instagram profile. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time.